All right, guys, brand new video. I just showed up. <clears throat> I found an abandoned lot in the city I live in. And look, I pull up into the parking lot of the lot and sitting right here on the surface. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be real. It might be, though. It's... Hmm. Feels kind of light. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. What do I see? Oh, yeah, look at that. Surface find silver necklace. If you can see the 925. Oh, well. Uh, sweet! This is going to be a good day already. All right, back at it. All right, guys, I think this is going to be a good day. I literally turned on my machine, swung it once. Boom! 1944 wheat. Sit right there. Sweet. Okay, let's see what else this lot pops up. All right, guys, I, uh, I got ran off of that lot by uh, uh, the next door neighbor. Um, I guess it was private property, even though there was no sign. I thought it was a public lot, and I asked her for the owner's information so I could contact them, and she kind of clammed up. So I just left. I went to a public park, and this ring up like a zinc penny. I do not know what it is yet. Okay, it looks like it might be jewelry. I. Ah, come on, come out of there. It's stuck in there, whatever it is. Is that. What is this? Is this junk? Huh. I I think it's a, a ring, like one of those double rings, and it might be silver, just really tarnished. Um, huh. Yeah, I, if I was a betting man, let's see if it starts to shine up at all. It's starting to. I'm willing to bet this is a silver ring that was would have looked like this been brought together. Sweet, I'm having a great day today. All right, back at it. All right, y'all, it's a whole different day. My buddy Dustin and I are just doing a little door knocking permissions, and uh, I got my first old coins in 1936 wheat. So that's encouraging. And he pulled one out from 1940 just a minute ago, so uh, let's see what we can find. Thanks, y'all. All right, guys, just a couple minutes later, and I pop out a 1950 wheat. So uh, this is very encouraging. It's a very tiny front yard. We're almost done with it, but we've gotten three wheat pennies out so far, so that's good. Right back at it. All right, guys, I just uh, talked to the neighbor next door to the house we just hunted and uh, got permission, and the first thing that pops out, another wheat penny, 1946. So let's see what else we could find. Back at it. 20 seconds later, very next signal, 1952 wheat penny. So this is a really good sign. Back at it. All right, guys, I, I had to stop recording the wheat pennies. Uh, that's all we found in those two yards. Uh, I got a handful, my buddy got a couple. This is a different day. I'm at a, a park I've never been to. Um, it's a new park, it's only been around for about 10, 15 years, but there used to be a couple houses here in the 50s and 60s. And bam, 1935 wheat. Second coin I dug, first was a 64 penny. So uh, let's find out. Maybe there's still some silver around. See ya. All right, guys, we're gonna try a live dig on this one. I'm getting a nice 86, 87, and listen. Oh, wait, my shovel's in the way. It wasn't that big a second ago. See how it's a small target? Oh. It's right there. Right there. All right, let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna switch hands. It's about six inches deep, so it's got the depth to be silver. Uh, it has the tone to be silver, to be a silver dime. It's probably going to be trash, as most of my live digs end up being. But because of the chance, it's hitting a pretty solid 86, 87, and it is a small target. Let's see what happens. Right there in the sidewall a little bit. Just pop it out right here behind it. If I did it right, it should be in this clump of my hand. It is. Ah oh, man. <laughs> it's a clad quarter. Must have been on edge ringing up 86, 87. <sighs> back at it. Hey right, guys, I'm a. Uh, I'm back at that park again and. I got a half of a dog tag. I looked in the hole, the other half's not there, and unfortunately it's 
you know, it's something D Rice, something Otis, Atis, and then Tex A. Uh, yeah, it's probably not gonna find the rest of that, but that's pretty cool. I've never actually dug a dog tag before, so I mean, like, yeah, dog tags for dogs, but not like a human dog tag, and I'm pretty sure that's what that is. All right, see what else I can find. All right, guys, I got a really nice signal. Look. 86, 87, 85. It's uh, right there. It's about six inches deep, so let's see what it is. It, it, it's got that 86, 87 thing going on for it, which if it's a silver dime laying flat, it's 86, 87. But uh, as you saw earlier, a quarter on edge, a clad quarter, will also bring up that same 86, 87. Come on, silver dime. That over, this is some really clay, clay mud. It's kind of hard to deal with. All right, let's see if I can on it. All right, right here, so I can't see because the shadows pop the whole area out. Come on, silver dime. I need the silver. All right, so this, that is not a silver dime. That is a piece of junk. Small, 86, 87. Oh well, next. All right, guys. Uh, I just had a 85, 86, but it seemed a little bit larger than a dime or so, or even a penny. And uh, it, I, it, it's larger than a quarter. I don't think it's a, a US coin. It's either a foreign coin or some kind of token of some type. What does that say there? It's probably gonna be hard to see. It says Jolly Ox. Okay, this is gonna be a token of some type. I'll just wipe my hands to get it. It's Jolly Ox something greatest spirits great stake and spirits huh jolly ox great steak and spirits have a drink on me expires oh december 31st 1975 i guess i'm not getting that free drink after all <laughs> well that's uh that's pretty cool all right let's see what else i can find here all right, guys, uh, look, I don't know if you can see the disturbed dirt about right there. Uh, and now right here, that's probably six feet away. Same signal. Another Johnny or Jolly Ox token again. This one also good for a drink. Drink on me. All right. So that's two of those back to back. Uh, interesting. I wonder if I'm on one of those weird token spills like a couple of videos ago. All right, back at it. All right, guys, I uh, just got a solid 84, 85, and that looks like jewelry, or what? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a, or no, is it a dog tag? It's got a little weight to it. It just looks like a bag. I think it's just junk. Yeah, that's some kind of something plated copper. But still, that looks kind of cool. Oh well, I guess it's like a seashell, but not not really. Hmm, no, no. Let's see what else I can find. All right, guys, uh, wrap up time. So this week I did not dig as much clad as I normally do. I was trying some different things, going off into different woods and. And, and old areas looking for old houses instead of just hitting parks and schools. And once again, I don't show everything that I dig on video. The videos would be too long, but you know, there's a little Hot Wheels car, Matchbox. It's not that old. Uh, I said I spent some time in the woods. I do like the shotgun caps, at least the pre-1960 paper ones. There's a big piece of brass there. Uh, two dog tags. Um, dog dog tag? Human dog tag. 
Except this one it says L Rice and then O A D U S and then Tex A. Don't know who that goes to. No way of finding out. Got always get the keys. Um, I once again always feel sorry for whoever loses their keys, especially when they're car keys. Uh, these cool tokens. These are so cool. So this is from the Jolly Ox Inn, and it is great steak and spirits. Good at any Jolly Ox Inn at the bottom there, and then good for one drink. It says have a drink on me. Expires twelve thirty one seventy five. But look at this one. No expiration date. Jolly Ox still available? No idea. That'd be kind of cool, though. Give him one of these tokens from back then for a free drink. All right. Uh, then I had that little uh, wheat pennies here. I stopped recording after a while because who wants to watch a video with nothing but wheat pennies? I can't believe out of all these wheats, ranging from 35 to 58, um, that I can't find, that I didn't find a single silver coin. So that's different. Uh, jewelry. Got that little... It looks like a heart, but also like a seashell. It's silver-plated copper. It's, you know, nothing special or anything. Uh, then there was that, that ring. Now, I used my little recipe of baking soda and water and managed to remove most of that black tarnish. This is that uh, double knot-looking ring thing. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then there was this, the very beginning of the video. Um, I don't remember if you remember in the video where I picked it up and I said, oh, it feels light. Well, if you go back and look, the tail of it or the one end of it was still just kind of laying on the ground. But look, I couldn't get it earlier when I took the video because it was just too bright. Come on. Oh, can you see? Well, you can see it. This is 925. It's pretty difficult. But I thought, once again, that it was light. That is over a troy ounce of silver. Woo! All right, that is awesome. Some jogger probably lost it because there was, you know, sidewalk and everything right there. So that's this week's video. Let's uh, let's see what I can get out of the ground for the next video, guys. But a little bit of silver, uh, some free drinks, and some trash, and some cool wheats. All right, see you guys later.